Siberian tigers, the ultimate hunters in wild Russia, want to see the apex predators in action. In this video, I'm going to take you on a journey to see the Siberian tigers as they hunt their prey. Welcome to Earthopedia. We're going to be exploring the Russian wilderness in search of the apex predator, the Siberian tiger. These cats are some of the most impressive hunters I've ever seen, and it's an honor to witness them in their natural habitat. Buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. The tiger is a beautiful, wild creature. It's no wonder that people have been fascinated by tigers for centuries. Tigers are the largest cat family members and can weigh up to 700 pounds. They are native to Asia and can be found in India, China, and Siberia. Tigers typically live for about 10-15 years in the wild and up to 20 years in captivity. I remember being completely enthralled by lions and other large cats when I was a kid. Their elegance and strength were breathtaking. Our modern technology allows us to view these fantastic predators whenever we please. Yet, until recently, we knew very little about them. Generally speaking, big cats are reclusive and secretive, and it's just as well since we need to find ways of living alongside them before they disappear forever that we now have the means to view them in greater detail than ever and learn the complexities of their lives. The tiger is the most significant and elusive of the big cats. This species is now nearly extinct in its historic range. We have hardly had any time to begin exploring it. Our ability to uncover the actual tiger in time is made possible by today's technology. On internet National Tiger Day 2022, a breakthrough in conservation technology was announced. For the first time ever, wild tigers and their prey have been detected by AI-powered cryptic cameras that transmit the images to the cell phones and computers of park managers. The tiger is typically associated with tropical environments, but this isn't always the case. It's possible that in the past, people called homes with colder climates home. Tigers could travel great distances. They encompass a considerable portion of Asia. They were widespread from the Russian Far East to Turkey. The striped fur of a tiger makes it nearly invisible in the sunlight that filters down through the canopy. The tiger's stripes not only help it blend in with its surroundings, but also help break up its overall shape, making it more difficult for unsuspecting prey to spot. In the wild, tigers are apex predators, meaning they sit at the top of the food chain. Their primary hunting method is to ambush predators, meaning they hide and then attack their prey. Tigers can weigh up to 700 pounds on average. They typically eat between 35 and 110 pounds of meat annually. Deer and wild boar are two of their favorite foods. The sambar, shittle, swamp deer, hog, and deer are some of their most sought-after game. Tigers' diets can include anything from termites to newborn elephants prey with a body mass of 20 kilograms to 45 pounds or more, such as moose, deer species, pigs, cows, horses, buffalo, and goats, make up a significant portion of their diet. Predators don't come more cunning, covert, or terrifying than these. Tigers in the forest are so massive that they dwarf everything else there. This mother tiger has come here in search of food. Statistically, she will only succeed in her murderous endeavors about once every 10 times she tries. One peculiar detail gives her prey an edge. To have any chance of catching such a fast animal, you should target a deer that is easily startled. Because camouflage only works to a certain extent, the tigers must approach her from a very close range. She must be looking for sudden movement, smell, or noise. She decides it's not worth it to bother with them at the moment. She is a mother to a male and female cub, roughly a year old, so she needs to save gas money, especially in these conditions. Both have a long way to go before they can support themselves. Having a mother who is a skilled hunter is a huge advantage for these cubs. The specter of famine is not imminent. In other words, they'll have to learn how to hunt independently. The harsh winters in the Russian Far East can rot below minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's essential to have at least one hearty meal every day. Siberian tigers now occupy the southeastern region of Russia, also called more tigers. A mountain range known as the Sukhot Alien, also called Tiger Paradise, contains 14,000 square miles of wilderness set aside as wildlife preserves. In relation to their prey, I'm always blown away by the audacity of a cat's hunting tactics. They seem to disregard their safety, as they regularly attack prey significantly heavier than themselves. They can see the grass clearly from the tower's height, but if the herd panics, the tiger can pick and choose among them. So, how do they take in food? While their sense of smell is highly developed, tigers rely more on their vision and hearing when hunting. They approach their prey stealthily from behind to get as close 
close as possible without being seen. They then try to kill their game by biting them viciously in the neck or throat. A lion on its own wouldn't stand a chance against this beast, but this tiger has brought it down and is dragging it by its teeth. Though they are mighty, the tigers still have natural enemies. When elephants and tigers interact, things can get messy fast. Less than 500 of these tigers are left in the wild in Russia's Imwe region, and each weighs more than a quarter of a ton. This tiger subspecies has the softest and longest fur of any cat species. It shares the ability to endure sub-zero temperatures with its feline relatives. Speedy, which muscle gives family tigers superhuman strength. In contrast to the other big cats, the tiger has more endurance muscle, allowing it to sustain a long chase. The tiger's original food source has been depleted. Deer and elk in Europe can only survive in sparse populations. These days, getting food requires almost superhuman levels of stealth and strength. The area inhabited by ammo tigers is estimated to be around 40,000 square miles, or about 200 square kilometers per animal. After 80 years of strict conservation, the population has rebounded but there is a catch. More tigers mean more room is needed for them to thrive. Once they run out of food, they can't go any further north. Spending time with a wide range of other species is preferable. Unique among mountain ranges is the Sakota Lane. Because of this, a wide variety of subarctic and subtropical species can thrive here. Paradise flycatcher breeding pairs travel from Southern Asia to the Americas in May. Many of the region's sika deer are weak and underweight after a harsh winter. This is especially true in the region's southern regions. These deer aren't just drinking water. They are also foraging for minerals in the mud to supplement the grasses, leaves, fungi, and ferns on which they otherwise survive. It is estimated that there are fewer than 4,000 tigers in the wild today, though not all of them are alive. Russia's move to protect the tiger in 1999 made it the first country in the world to do so, saving the subspecies. The number of wild continental tigers has stabilized at around 450. This iconic species is critically endangered due to illegal trade in tigers and tiger parts, which captive breeding facilities across Asia exacerbate. Other threats include habitat loss and human-wildlife conflict. Over the past 100 years, their numbers have decreased by 95%. While their future is uncertain, efforts are in place to protect tigers and help their population rebound. Hopefully, these efforts will be successful and future generations will be able to enjoy these magnificent creatures. Additionally, the last remaining Asian one-horned rhinoceros can be found in the natural. Formerly widespread across much of South and Southeast Asia, these animals are now confined to a handful of reserves in the grasslands that dot the region. The rhino may be essential to the tiger's continued existence. At first, I didn't give much thought to the fact that all areas with the highest concentrations of rhinos also have some of the world's densest tiger populations. Considering how infrequently tigers kill lions, this seems like an unlikely correlation. However, these are creatures of habit. They like to rely on the same tried and proper methods daily. By clearing out friendly wide lanes as they travel, rhinos and elephants help to widen roads all over the place. As a result, the grassland is open enough for wildlife to roam freely. Infrequently, we find tiger tracks on these rhino paths. As a result, the resulting network is as complex as any city, and a tiger that learns a shortcut can zip from point A to point B in no time. Large herds of animals that tigers could eat can be maintained in this environment thanks to the trail-making megafauna and the regular flooding that brings additional nutrients. The mating season for tigers is unpredictable. On the other hand, there appears to be the busiest time between November and April. Mating can occur multiple times during a female's receptive period, which can last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. Usually, this happens every three to nine weeks. Females only go into estrus and reproduce during the colder months of the year in temperate climates. Tigers, contrary to popular belief, breed all year long. A tigress estrus cycle lasts 21 days, except when nursing her cubs. The female goes into estrus again in about a month, regardless of whether or not the cubs survive birth. In a short while, cubs will have to vacate the premises to make way for the new crop of cubs. A life of nomadism is in store for the young man until he discovers his own personal paradise. The search process may be risky.
Some cats have such a large home range that they venture outside of protected areas, which is dangerous for young tigers. In Russia, tigers were nearly wiped out by hunters only a few short decades ago. Adults fared even worse than the cubs that were captured and sold to zoos and circuses around the world. Yearly, special brigades would wipe out dozens of us. Our group size shrank to around 30 people. Mankind was the foe. Now things are different. Tigers are safeguarded in every corner of the globe. 200 years ago, the world was home to tens of thousands of tigers. In the last century, the tiger population has dropped by more than half, or 97 animals. There is some evidence that tigers bite each other during the mating process. The neck bite places both partners in the ideal position for the climax, but amateur couples have been known to make fatal errors in this regard. The female responds to his dismount by growling and jumping up in an attempt to knock him off his mount. Tigers have been portrayed in various ways throughout history as one of the most popular popular animals in the world. Wild and ferocious, they have long been seen as a danger to be avoided. However, in recent years, our understanding of tigers has undergone a dramatic shift. Thanks to the work of conservationists, we now know that these magnificent creatures are vital to the health of ecosystems and play an essential role in keeping the balance of nature. What's more, tigers play a significant role in the lives of many local communities.